Hi everyone, video solution to Tanset 2020 MBA question paper. In the question, there is a data sufficiency question. In the topic, there is number properties, number systems. In the concept, test LCM HCF of numbers is a property test. Very interesting question. Let's get started. The question is, what is the number x? x is the value of n. Two statements are given. Let's have a look at the answer options before we look at the statements. Statement 1 alone is sufficient, na? answer option is A. 2 alone is sufficient, na? answer option is B. When the statement is seta, 1 and 2 together, or unique answer kudukna, then the answer option is C. The given data is not sufficient. We cannot answer the question with the information given in the statements. Na? The answer option is D. Let's take a look at what the question is. What is x? Number in the x value of the value. Answer kudukta, x is equal to 4, x is equal to 7. Avdini, edo, or value kudukta, poro. The answer to the question is a value then the data is sufficient when we have a unique value. One single answer x is equal to 4. That means one number is sufficient, data is sufficient. 4, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, multiple answers, or if x is equal to value, then the data is not sufficient. Right? On this basis, let's get started evaluating statement 1. Statement 1 alone, what is the answer? LCM of x and 18 is 36. x is 18, LCM is 36. In the information, x is one value, more than one value can have an LCM of 36 for x and 18. Looking at how to solve this, the approach is a counter example. We x value, we do not have a unique answer. Yeah. So, let us try out whether we are able to get that. Example 1, I will pick something very, very simple. If x is equal to 36, x is 18, LCM of 36 and 18 will be a 36. So, x is one value, it could be a 36. Is that the only answer there is there? Let us see if that is more than one, one, one more value. x is equal to 12. Then, LCM of x and 18, which is 12 and 18, that is 36. 12 and 18, the LCM is 36. 36 and 18, the LCM is 36. So, x is 36, x is 12, x is 4. There are more than one value that is available for the value of x. We are not able to find a unique answer for x using statement 1 alone. So, statement 1 alone is not sufficient. 1 alone is not sufficient. Na? Let us eliminate answer option A. In the moon, let us take a look at statement 2 alone. See whether that is sufficient. The HCF of x and 18 is 2. Again, counter example. If you want to take a look at HCF of x and 18 is 2. Example 1, let us take Highest common factor of x is equal to 2. So, let us take HCF of 2 and 18 is a 2. It is a very simple case. Mudu chach. Where the number is? Yes, definitely. Chuma in the number edith paakla. Example 2 is x is equal to 10. HCF of 10 and 18 paathao na. Yidhukkoon one common number vandhu is essentially to the highest common factor is equal to 2. So, yidhukkoon 2 da HCF. So, the HCF of x and 18 is 2 na. Is x a 2? possible. Is x a 10? Possible. Is x a 4? Possible. So, there are multiple values for which this could be possible. Is x a 14? Possible. So, more than one answer is available from statement 2 also. We do not, we are not able to find a unique value for x. x is a single value. Varla. So, statement 2 alone is also not sufficient. Let's eliminate answer option B. Combine the two statements and see whether it is possible. We are going combine one. LCM of x and 18 is 36. HCF of x and 18 is 2. This is a property. Product of two numbers. We have two numbers. X is one number. That is 18 is one number. The product of two numbers will always be equal to the product of the LCM of those two numbers and the HCF of those two numbers. So, X is one number. LCM is one number. LCM is one number. LCM is one number. That will be the same as the product of those two numbers. LCM of X and 18 36 in statement 1 is one number. HCF of x and 18 is equal to 2 in statement 2. So, this should be equal to the product of the two numbers which is x and 18. So, 18x is equal to 36 into 2. 18x is equal to 72. x is equal to 72 divided by 18 which is equal to 4. So, in this statement we combine, we are able to find one single value, a unique value for x. The statements together are sufficient. Statements together are sufficient. Answer kandupidi ke mudi answer option 4 we can eliminate it. So, correct answer to this question is choice C.